Hi guys, here's Arndt von Königsmark. Thank you so much for all your feedback and very positive um, feedback I get for People in Motion version 2. Uh, very encouraging for me. Um, but some of you get back to me with uh, some problems regarding the Render People uh, implementation. So they were heading over to renderpeople.com and getting one of the free uh, rigged models they have here. It's Jessica or they have Andrew um, as well now from starting today. And uh, that's why I would like to take this opportunity just to give you an idea how this works because they offer a couple of different rigs when you download the files. So in this case I'm using the, no, uh, the new Andrew file here, downloading from their website. And uh, I already unzipped the folder which gives you a, vari a variety of different um, formats for different software. So we are of course interested in the C4D folder. So you just have to unzip this one. And then again you get a bunch of files. And um, most of you having the problems are using the native file which is not um, quite useful to use uh, with people in motion because this is um, a file that has a character builder rig uh, included uh, with all the IK tags and uh, expresso tags and constraint tags and so on. So this is already controlled by external objects and um, expresso. So people in motion has no big chance to really animate this one. So instead you should use the FBX file. So I'm just heading over to Cinema to show you how this works. So basically you start by opening up the FBX file. Here it is. Open it up. This brings up the FBX import settings. So basically you just need the geometry, the materials and an activated deformation. So here is our new character which is rigged and when you unfold the hierarchy you can see that the third object from the top is the hip joint and this one we need with people in motion. So getting the people in motion controller from the plugins menu heading over to the basic settings and there we find this hip links field. So you just drag and drop the hips here, you choose the rig type Render people, of course. Load. This loads all the joins of the rig to the dialog and then you constrain. If you like to use IK object, it's fine. You can already press this button. If you just want to check it out, head over to animate. Now, this brings the character to the default idle pose. Um, you will notice that sometimes characters somehow change their shoulder positions. Um, that's why we have the static poses and offsets here. So you just head over to shoulder offset. Here you can change the uh, orientation and placement of the shoulders, of the elbows to make it look less stiff maybe. You can move away the wrists or whatever you like. After that head over to motion designer walk in place just to check out different walking types, increase the stride, uh, stride value here and hit play and there the character walks. Simple as that. The only downside uh, with the FBX file is that they haven't saved the proper texture paths to the materials. So uh, what you have to do is head over to the function menu here. I'm uh, just um, ripping this off here or tearing this off. So there you find the material exchanger. You're opening up this and this asks us to load another file and uh, there we choose the native file now because that file has the native Cinema 4D format which all the texture uh, passes and materials properly set up hopefully. You hit open, then you ask if you like to replace really all materials. Yes, we would like that. 
And you can already see that now all the textures are loaded into the materials that we had in our scene. So just using the material exchanger. So rendering this um, after all the textures are loaded, you can see that we get an error message. This is because uh, they made a mistake, <laughs> basically, in one of their um, materials. You can see there is still a Jessica material or texture included, but this is definitely not Jessica. So to fix that, you head over to Window, Texture Manager, and there we have a list with all the textures and materials. And here you can see the last entry is about the Jessica uh, JPEG, which really doesn't belong in an Andrew material in the reflection. So you double click on this material, which opens up the material uh, in the reflectance channel. And there you can see here we have our missing material. Uh, so it doesn't make sense to replace it with the Jessica texture, even if you have it. So instead, I would look for a gloss back in the folder with the Andrew material. So opening up the texture dialog, there you can see we have a clause back here. So we're just opening up this instead, re replacing the Jessica texture, and now everything should be fine again. And you can see rendering works perfectly fine. So this is just a little bit of a hint or um, short demo how to use um, the render people rigs with people in motion. Thanks for watching and have fun.